today I've got a smoky blue eye look for you all and I'm in a beautiful style from Artisaris. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out. It's got navy blue velvet so I thought I'd do like a blue smoky eye look for you all. So if you want to know how I got this look then please keep watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and share and you all know the rule by now. So yeah let's get straight into the tutorial. Bye! Hey guys, so the first thing I'm starting off with is my Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC and this is just gonna allow all my eyeshadows to pop and make them last longer throughout the day and I love this base. Next I'm taking my MAC um, eyeshadow in charcoal and I'm gonna use this as a transition colour and pop this onto the crease of my eyelid and I'm using a blending brush for this. And then taking the second shade which is called corduroy and just deepening the crease um, and using the same fluffy brush and just blending that out really really well and I'm kind of doing it in circular motions and just kind of like buffing that in next taking my elf eyeshadow stick in midnight blue and this is a very creamy textured pigmented eyeshadow stick and the blue is absolutely amazing I'm popping that all over my lid Don't worry if it gets a bit messy, you can smudge that all out later on. Then taking that same blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the blue and the transition shade and just blend it out. So it looks all nice and blended. As you can see, it's all coming together slowly. And then I went ahead with a bit more blue and just popped that on. Then grabbing those two transition shades again, I'm just going to pop that onto my lower lash line and just smoke it out. And just taking the thin um, end of the eyeshadow stick and just sweeping that across halfway and then I'm just going to use the same brush to kind of smudge that all out and I love using this brush because it's nice and small and it just gets in between those lashes and really smokes it out And then I'm just popping a bit more of that charcoal eyeshadow and blending that in seamlessly. seamlessly. Then taking the Merry Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics, I'm just going to pop this on to my brow bone just to kind of highlight that area. Then I'm going to bring it down to my tear duct just to kind of make my eyes look a bit more awake and quite wide. Next, taking my favourite Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner by Rimmel, I'm just going to draw a wing. And I always start from the centre of my eyes because I just find it easier that way. And then I'm going to slowly come forward and just drag that across my eyelid. It looks really wet right now but it will dry matte. Then taking my black eyeliner, I'm just tight lining and then taking my extended play lash mascara which is my favourite one and I have used it in a couple of my tutorials right now. Um, yeah, I'm just applying generous coats of this onto my top and bottom lashes. And then taking my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Eyeliner, I'm just going to line my waterline just to make my eyes appear bigger and it makes you look more awake as well. I love this nude liner. Then taking these Define Lashes from Primark, they're like my favourite ones, they're only a pound and wow, they're my favourite. And that's the eye look completed. Then moving on to my Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just going to pop this under my eyes in a weird triangle shape and just this is just going to kind of make me look more awake and more highlighted. Oh my god my nose is so runny. Then 
and I don't really wear concealer on a normal day at all or oh, I don't even wear powder on a normal day I know somebody asked me once do I ever wear powder and I'm like no I don't I actually don't wear powder then taking this neutral set colorless powder from Ben Nye I'm just gonna pop that under my eyes where I had applied the concealer so I don't have any creases throughout the day and this is just a tutorial showing you like just a very basic way of highlighting and I'm pretty sure you all know how to highlight anyways then taking my favorite Becca contour stick I'm going to just put that onto the highest points of my cheeks and I'm gonna buff that all in and blend it all away no harsh lines remember <laughs> Then taking my Dallas blusher which is a very nice neutral everyday blusher I'm just popping that onto the apples of my cheeks where I had applied the contour then taking this Colourpop um, highlighter this creamy highlighter I'm popping that on to the highest points of my cheeks and I completely forgot what the name is again and I always do this but I will leave the name in the description bar below here I'm just um, contouring down the bridges the bridges down the bridge of my nose <laughs> slightly and then taking my barium lip liner um, I don't actually know what shade this is either but I'm just um, outlining my lips and getting it ready for some lipstick and this color is so so beautiful I love it then taking this Inglot um, lipstick and I have no idea and I will leave it in the description box and just popping that on to my lips it's very moisturizing even though it's a matte finish and that is the completed look guys I wore a beautiful side from Artisaris which I will leave in a link to it in the description box below and that bracelet is not a bracelet it's actually a necklace and I just tied it around my hands like some bracelet <laughs>